My only complaint about lipstick is when you have to sip from a cup or something, but I mean, a straw works just fine, but you look like this. Hello dear friends and welcome back to my podcast. I am Eden. I am a watercolor artist, knitter, um, and I do polymer clay progress keepers that I sell in my shop at uh, Yarrow & Company. And you can find my shop at yarrowandcompany.squarespace.com. Uh, you can find me on Instagram as yarrowmail44, or you can find me on Ravelry as yarrowmail. And now you can also join our Ravelry group, uh, the Dear Friend podcast group on Ravelry. And yeah, if you watched my first episode, welcome back to episode two. And uh, if you're new, this is episode two. Uh, I'm very new to podcasting and thank you so much to everyone who had such nice comments and subscribed that meant a lot to me um i'm sorry if you can hear my brothers in the background um they're in their room right next to me but uh, yeah we're filming in my room this time because it is a cloudy dreary day and um in my brother's room it's on the opposite side of the house so it was really, really dark in there. Um, and I've got a little bit of light coming through my window today. So I thought I'd film up here. And yeah, so I have progress on my knitting projects that I showed you last time. I have one new project and a uh, yarn acquisition to show you that I'm very excited about. So I have no finished objects to show you this episode, but I have plenty of work uh, done on my other whips. So uh, to start off, I have lots of progress done on my Mrs. Weasley's family socks that I am knitting for my boyfriend. And so from this progress keeper, up is what I've done. And this progress keeper is a little pumpkin smoothie that I have in the shop right now. It's got like some green, green glitter on it, a tiny pumpkin and some whip. So you can find that in the shop, but I'm really enjoying making these socks and I'm uh, almost done the foot actually, which surprised me a lot because when you knit socks, you never realize how long a foot is until you start knitting a sock for that pair of feet. Uh, I definitely learned that with my own feet, with my own socks, that I have way longer feet than I thought, but these, um, I'm past halfway in the foot. And yeah, so the contrast color is a homespun house soft sock in the colorway Barbie. So it's a nice bright pink. I love it against this blue, which is Dragon Horde yarn um, Lupin. Yeah. So I'm doing these two at a time. And this is my very first time doing socks at the same time. And I think this is going to become my go-to way in making socks because I have terrible second sock syndrome and I probably have maybe two or three pairs of socks waiting for their partners still. So I'm glad that this pair is not gonna be one of those. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll show you them in the ball again. Here's Barbie, just bright, bright pink. And honestly, 
it is this bright in person, as you see on the screen. And then Lupin, I split into two balls for each sock. It's, I love this colorway so much. I want a skein for myself to, I don't know what I would make, but I love this color. And yeah, this is the Mrs. Weasley's Family Socks um, by Molly of a Homespun House, the same wonderful lady who dyed this yarn. And I'm making the biggest size. Um, but I added two stitches to make it slightly bigger and I went up a needle size. So I am knitting these on 2.25 millimeter size was it size one US, I believe. Uh, yep, so I added two stitches to make it slightly bigger because I wanted these to fit. I don't want these to be tight. I naturally just knit my socks very tightly and I didn't want one of these to be that. So they are coming along. I have no idea when they're gonna be done, but they will be finished. Yeah. So my next work in progress that I have gotten some work done on is my Ripple Camisole by Jessie May. And yeah, so from Marvin right here to here, I've gotten some progress done. And this is Marvin, the robot from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And you can find him in the shop right now. He just looks so unimpressed. But that's Marvin. But I am very impressed by how this colorway is working up. I mean, it's so pretty. So very pretty. This is a Book of Spells by Ginger Snap Yarn. And it's this beautiful pink and a uh, deep gold with speckles of black. So wonderful. I'm knitting this on size uh, three millimeter, 2.5 US, um, which is a size down from what the pattern calls for. Cause I wanted the fabric to be a bit thicker so I didn't have much of a mesh look to it. So I went down a needle size and up um, a garment size. Yeah. So this is nice and relaxing to do when I don't want to um, pay full attention to my knitting, like just have something mindless to knit on and it's great for with movies and yeah and this yarn is a superwash merino and nylon in 8020 and there's their adorable tag i love this yeah that's my full camisole by Jessie May. I'm sorry for the beat up pattern. I am terrible at that. And yeah, so it's coming along. I'm very excited to have this. It, his, it has been getting warmer here as spring is coming in. So I'm very excited for that. Um, even though it's all going on and staying home, you can still enjoy the sunshine, like sit on the porch or uh, go for a walk. I just, I love it when the sunshine comes. It makes me very happy and nice warm weather. Today is not one of those days, but that's okay because I can stay indoors and film a podcast instead. That's still fun. This work in progress is my red moon sweater by Born and Raised Knits. 
and I've gotten a ton of progress done on this. I am so happy with how it's turning out. The last time I showed this to you, I believe I was like just starting this next section. But you can see the moons forming. I'm almost done the first chart of my pen. Here it is. Yeah, Red Moon Sweater by Born and Raised Knits. I am almost done this first chart, which is this section, and then I move on to the nice big moons there. And I am loving how these colors are working together. I was worried that they would be too close in the sense like this gray would blend in with the um, speckles in the black, but the definition is fantastic. So the main color is um, Omega uh, by Schmutzarella Yarns in her score sport weight base, which is a 8020 superwash merino and nylon. And it's so pretty. It's this nice black with like these sections of um, all different colors. And then here's it in the skein, as you can see, oh, so pretty. And then the contrast color for the moons is Vine Yarns um, Solstice. And this is her footsie base, which is a fingering weight. And yeah, this is coming along great. I don't have enough hands. There we go. So I am the this on size oh dear drop and stitches there we go <laughs> on size four millimeters which is a size bigger than what the pattern calls for but for my sizing it was just exactly what um, my bust circumference was, so I wouldn't have had any positive ease. So instead of going up one size, which would have made it way too big, I just went up one needle size. And it's been working out really good because it's a fingering weight sweater, but the Schmutzarella Yarns is a sport weight, so I'm not having any big holes or anything. It's going to be so nice and drapey because it's nice and light. And the footsie base is the contrasting, so I'm not getting like any mesh. And it's working out beautifully. I'm so excited to see how it looks, all the color work done. And this has definitely been my favorite thing to knit on lately. And yeah, so that is coming along too. Very excited for it. My next work in progress you haven't seen before because I was keeping these uh, as a surprise. These are, uh, is a present for my mom for her birthday, but I wasn't able to get it uh, done in time for her birthday. So I told her about them so that I can work on these in front of her while watching movies and they will get done faster rather than me trying to work on them in secret um, just before bed or something, which I don't get a lot of knitting done before I go to bed, so it wasn't really going quickly. But I am making her a pair of Songbird Mittens by Erica Heuser. Um, sorry, it's in black and white. It's very dull, but they're beautiful mittens. And I have just gone to where I um, got the thumb 
gusset finished. And yeah, for the yellow, it is, it's in, it's in a sock so it wouldn't unravel on me. Um, this is Yellow Canary by K-Zip Knits. And it is just this beautiful bright yellow, not quite that bright. The light makes it brighter, but yeah, that's my background color. And then the brown is um, Patton Croy Socks effects in the color Cowboy Colors. So it's a brown that is kind of like ombre because it goes from light to dark and it's going light again as I'm working on it now, which is really cool. It adds an extra effect to the mittens. And I am knitting these on size 2.75 millimeter, size 2 US on DPNs. I would not recommend doing these mittens on DPNs because when you're um, going between needles, you don't want to pull too tight. Otherwise, you'll get um, a pucker in your color work and you don't want it too loose or else you're going to get this weird gap in your color work. So like in back here, you can't tell luckily that much, but there is a slight strange gap or pucker right there from going in between needles. So I would definitely recommend doing these magic loop probably so that you don't have so many needles. I am enjoying doing them anyways on DPNs, but when I make another pair of these, and I will for myself, I will definitely do them magic loop instead. But yeah, they're coming along and my mom is very excited to have them. And I am loving this pattern. It's great for someone like me who's never done color work mittens before. But, yeah. It's very easy to follow and the charts are written up very well. So I highly recommend this pattern. And I'm keeping it in, this is a, actually it was supposed to be a makeup bag I got from a craft market, but I was like, that is a knitting bag because it's a Harry Potter knitting bag and I love it. And then this pin that my aunt got me, which is the Harry Potter Prophecy glass ball. It's a pin that I put on there. And yeah. That's all I have to say about these. Um, they're going to probably become the thing I work on a lot more. Because I, I'm loving doing color work between this and my Red Moon sweater. Color work has become my favorite thing to knit lately. And yeah. The last thing I wanted to show you is a stash acquisition that I just got from Over the Moon Yarn. And it is this insanely sparkly and squishy and just stunning ball of yarn. This is their Stardust base, Stardust sock. And it is a 70% size, 75% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and 5% silver lurex. And it makes it so sparkly. Okay, just, I can't get enough of it. And it, this is Nebula Series G. And my favorite color is green. And so 
the mix of greens and blues is just, oh, it makes me so happy. And the funny thing was, I didn't realize it until I got this ball of yarn, but this ball of yarn matches a nebula painting that I did a very long time ago. Um, a nebula in a jar, and it's the exact same colors. And so this ball and I were destined to be together. It's my perfect match of yarn. And I'm so excited to um, put this on the needles. I would like to get something done before I cast this on, but no promises. But I don't know quite what I want to do with this. Um, I don't want them to be a pair of socks because this is too pretty to put on my feet, but it is 437 yards of fingering weight. So if you have any pattern recommendations for a single skein of yarn that will show it off really nicely, I, I don't know. It could become my next ripple camisole because um, I think that would look really cool as a top. We shall see. So yeah, Over the Moon Yarn. They are a mother and daughter group out in Alberta and they do amazing yarn, all space themed and you can find them on Etsy and they are just so talented in this color and they're dying and yeah that's all I have to talk about oh paintings this is a nebula in a jar I did a very long time ago when I first started out doing watercolors and it is still my favorite watercolor um, that I've done. I would, I'd like to do it again soon. I haven't done a nebula in a long time. And then this, this is for sale in the shop. This is called Different Perspective. And I wanted to see what would happen if I did just the same picture, but in two separate shapes. So it's like a tree going up into two different circles. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching my next episode. I am so excited to be doing this again. And um, I'm happy to show you what I've been working on and that you like seeing what I'm working on. Again, thank you so much for everybody who gave such nice comments and subscribed. It meant so, so much to me. I was really encouraged by that. And yeah, until next time, I will see you later, dear friends. Ugh, dropped a stitch. Nobody move, nobody breathe. Dropped a stitch. Okay, saved it.